Hello, dear audience. Welcome to the first episode of Paul English Speaking Community. I am Mehmet, and I am here as your host today. We will be interviewing with one of the members of Honeymoon 24 team, Ülkü Deniz Sivrikaya. Hi, everyone. I'm Ülkü, the Director General of Honeymoon 24. Uh, also, sorry for my voice, I'm a little sick. Uh, today, I'm here to help you all understand what an Amyan conference is, and maybe even convince some of you to attend one. I hope you can get well soon, Ülkü. Can you introduce Amyan and its purpose to our listeners? Uh, first of all, MUN, Model United Nations, is a simulation of United Nations conferences prepared by students all over the world. Uh, there are committees such as UNICEF, WHO, World Health Organization, UNSC, United Nations Security Council, and many more, which, which include countries that exist at the present time. Uh, participants are separated into these committees, and they are each given a country which they will be representing. All committees have agenda items, which are the topics to discuss about. Uh, the delegates are expected to do research about their countries in the field of their agenda item. Uh, at the end of the conference, which usually lasts about three days, each committee is supposed to have a resolution paper, which is a summary of all the issues and solutions you've talked about during the sessions. Can you explain the benefits of joining MN? Well, to begin with, it's a great opportunity to improve your oratory skills. Uh, your confidence while speaking in English immediately improves. Also, it's a gorgeous environment to meet new people and improve your social skills. While learning a lot about problems of our world, you can learn a lot, in, a lot of interesting facts about different cultures. What are your tips for a student who's inexperienced? Well, talking from experience, there is absolutely no reason to stress or anything. Uh, I can remember my first MUN, and I was in sixth grade. It was quite scary at first, but as I got used to it, it absolutely became an addiction for me. Uh, the more you realize how exciting it is, the more you want to talk. So just get out there, be prepared, be yourself, and the rest will come naturally to you. Can you explain what are different departments of MUN and their purposes? Okay, so the organization team is divided in six departments, finance, public relations, IT, administration, press, and entertainment. Finance or logistics team is responsible for all the financial statues of the conference. From anything you eat to the placards and badges you use, uh, they're responsible to manage these. Uh, the public relations team communicates with the applicants before and during the conference. They're assigned to keep everyone informed about the preparation process. IT information technology designs everything needed for a conference. Uh, our badges, placards, committee posters and more. Uh, they also manage the social media accounts and the websites of the conference. Admins are in charge of the order inside the committees. They deliver messages between delegates and supply the needs of every participant. The press team is responsible for photography and making your conference experience unforgettable. The entertainment team plans and manages the activities between sessions. They help everyone to stay amused and entertained. There are activities like runways, dust dance and stuff. Also, there is the executive team, which includes the main organizers of the conference. The executive team consists of two units, uh, the secretariat and the directors. The directors are responsible for the organization parts. We manage every department and do the essential planning. The secretariat is responsible for the academic part of the conference. Uh, they manage the delegates, chair board members, which are the presence of the committee, and the academic procedure. And how often does this event happen? Um, it depends, but nowadays every school can organize their own MUN. And since Izmir is a pretty active city when it comes to events, you can probably find several MUNs every month. How serious is the environment? Uh, it's pretty serious. Firstly, you're supposed to fit in the dress code, which is formal workplace outfits like blazers, shirts, uh, formal shoes and all. Um, also, while holding a speech inside the committee, you're required to use proper grammar and appropriate language. It's not su suitable to use street talk or like daily language. Thank you, Ülkü. And that concludes our first episode. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for joining us, the treasured member of Honeymoon 24 team, Ülkü. Thank you for having me as a guest. And special thanks to our director, Esra Demirci. Stay tuned for more episodes.